Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing a UI for an FAQ within your 5M server, so it will pop up anytime a player types slash FAQ. Looks like this, so you can configure everything in here just with HTML. We'll go over some basic customization in a few minutes, um, but obviously if you're more advanced at HTML, you can actually customize this to um, whatever you actually want. So, pretty cool. Alright, so to download and install this, you're going to go to the resource page linked in the description, and on that page will be a link to the GitHub. And then you're just going to go ahead and go to the releases tab and download the latest source code. Open this up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up your files. Now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. If you're on Zap Hosting, make sure you connect with FTP to your resources folder. Or if you're self-hosting, find your way to your resources folder. For the old method, it could be your server data resources folder. For the new uh, TX admin method, it could be your TX data folder. And then within here, you're going to drag that whole folder over. And we're going to have to name this F-FAQ. So make sure it's named FW-FAQ or it will not function correctly. So just make sure that's named um, that folder name. And then inside your HTML, you can edit your index.html. And then um, this will be where you configure your server name. So I can change this to noodles as server or something noodles server. I don't know. Just make this whatever you want. And then each one of these little text boxes, you can change to like no hacking under our rules, something like that. To make it whatever you think um no spam just configure this to however you want whatever you want your faq to say configure this file you can modify it change the colors or anything if you know what to do with html and all that good stuff so make sure to modify it to your liking then you're gonna go to your server data server.cft file if you're on zap hosting make sure you're doing this through your web interface not through uh ftp and then you're gonna do ensure fw-faq just like that and now if we start the server, as long as we see started resource FWFAQ, we know it started successfully. So let's hop in game and check it out. All right, now that we are in game, I'm going to type slash FAQ into the chat. And it goes as it opens up. You got your rules and everything else like we set up in that file. So you can obviously configure all of these to your liking. You can add more. Remember, it's going to depend on the player's resolution. Since I'm running this game in 4K, it's going to be smaller than it would be probably for you or other players. As long as it just depends on their monitor, their resolution, their window size, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, it has Noodle Server, it has FAQ, all that good stuff. Pressing Escape exits out back to the game and you can continue to have fun. So... Hopefully this did help you. Uh, make sure that resource name is named FW-FAQ or it will not function correctly. And that's it for today. So if you like this video, like it, and I will um, see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe and have a great rest of your day. Bye, everyone.